stream. Um, nope. I'm done. <laughs> right, we're streaming. This is live. Oh, there we go. Transition. And we're live. Hello. Hello! Is there anybody there? Doesn't look like it. So yeah, anyway. Uh, there's yeah, four waiting. Like... There's four waiting. Yep. Hi, people. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to uh, the Sunday Vape Lounge. Coming to you live from Bruce Castle and the Antrim e cig shop in, in Antrim, of all places. I'll be getting rather confused. Doing pasty, He says hi, all. Hi, pasty. Hi, pasty. How are you? Oh, we've got Corey Wilson. Hi, Hi Corey. Corey. Don't forget, people, um, take off the top chat and click on live chat in your top right hand corner. Yay, our stalker's in. Hi, Craig. Hi, Craig. Hi, Craig. Um, don't forget to go to up to your chat um, and click off the, the top chat, top, top chat, and make it live chat. Otherwise, you'll only see select few people. I a village evening, evening village. Baby, where the hell are you? <laughs> yeah, and just so other people can see, um, we are in say in the Antrim e-cig shop today, and if I just pan the camera around, there's Barry. Yeah. Well, we we can't see the top of him yet. Is oh, cut his head off. <laughs> Is that better? Can you see him now? Yay, there's Pete in the house. Hi, Pete. There you go. Now you can see all of Barry. Kinda. Sort of. Hi, Pete. Hey, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, bro, you've, you've been doing this a long time, man. You should be used to this. You get all the hellos out of the way for the first 20 minutes. You know? You should yeah. be used to this by now, man. Hi, Steve, so, Dave. Like the beard of Jesus. I could force them to doing this, apparently. Force? Uh, excuse me. Well, was, to... was there a gun put to your head? Nothing to do with the baseball bat to the knees, then, though. Well, Roy asked me to host, and then says, if I'm awake, and then sit, then Bunny says, you're fucking doing it, like, we lord, we're on that, you're a pawn, then. I said, I said, I said if I could do something like that. With a bombing accent. Sweet, innocent angel that I am. Uh, that was the worst bombing accent ever, Bray. Hi, Gailey Bobs. Hi, Gail, babe. Hi, George. Hi, George. Hi. Oh, they're all coming through now. Mr. Dan, no. Mr. Um, Casey. Um, hi, Maggie Brady. Hi, yeah. Hey, Maggie. That's a new name. Nice yeah, to see. That's a new name. Uh, Welcome. Daniel's parents decided that um, they had enough of him and weren't going to help out and take the kids from him on a Sunday. No, they, they have other things on. So, unfortunately, Mr. Casey. Um, the truth is, they have Mr. Casey tied up in the basement. Yeah, Maggie has. Yeah. 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 Exactly. That's it. <laughs> so we'll just give it a few more minutes to get see if any more people come in before we do the the obligatories. Oh yeah. I take it Maggie's trying to get rid of all the cobwebs in the basement. Yeah. Just, she's just trying to get rid of her cobwebs. She, yeah. She's just trying to get rid of her cobwebs. Never mind anything else in the basement. Yeah. Yeah, that's a whole nother show, darn. <laughs> so, VHVs, I'm so tempted to open VC. Why? You want to come on, Steve? Yeah, just just to mess with Darren a wee bit more. Yeah. And for those who don't right. actually know... Casey's away for a poop. Yeah, Jamie, that's about right, mate. That is probably that is probably Wouldn't where he is. He's yeah, probably sat on the loo doing surprising. a poop. Yeah. That's... He'll be sat on the loo doing a poop with his phone watching us like, Hi, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, hi, Daniel. Sitting with your headset on, your Bluetooth headset, having a poop. I know, he does that all the time, doesn't he? he yeah, he takes a headset, headset to the, to the, the toilet, toilet with him. So we deliberately rip the piss out of him. Just, just shit. Whether he's having one. Yeah, whether he's having one, yeah. So... 
as you know, this is a this is a trial, um, and we thought we're better to come to the first one to than to Antrim E6 door, and they're newly newly renovated premises, and I must say they are looking absolutely fantastic. It's really bright in here compared to what I came before Christmas. Do you want to take the camera and pan it about and show the shop? <sighs> right, folks, this could be Hold dangerous. On. I'll move, so I will be back in a sec while he's doing his David Bailey bit. Right, take the camera off the tripod, and we'll go for a go for a wander around the shop. There's Barry again. Oh, hang on, we're caught up. This could go horribly wrong. It could do. Right, behind the counter, you have got a smashing range of juices. Uh, From the floor. Yep, uh, let, let, on this this shelf now that I'm showing you, it literally has ceiling to floor, all the way up to the ceiling. Got just as, there's even just as right up at the top at the lights, and then over there. Look, what he's done especially for us. If that, hang on, can I zoom in on that? I haven't got the camera zoom in on a minute. It does say Vape Lounge NI on the uh, the 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 board. Thank you. I got plenty of memes I could show. I mean, I don't have to have them specially made for Roy. Got what specially made for me? Uh, Gail's memes. asking. I have got disturbing memes cool. for Roy. Yeah. So more juices on that side, and then you come to the big display cabinets that have got absolutely shed loads of mods. Oh, we've got a Steve Dave coming in. Shall we accept him? Aye, why not? Get them on there. More the merrier. Now I have to rearrange everything. Thank you very much, Steve dear. And there. Uh, why not? Yeah. So Steve have, Dave. Have a nice week, catch up, everyone. Steve Dave, you're in It's absolutely horrendously coming through, mate. It's absolutely horrendous, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. give me one second. I'll be back in a minute. I don't like this. Don't like that. Have another shop when, this, when they've got the main shop on. Nice floors as well. But word of warning: anybody that does come in, see the mat. Step over it. There's a trap door there. And then the main man again. Barry. Village paper says those are some some tidy shelves. And um, Craig goes nice looking shop. Very neat. Well, Barry is a very neat man. I have to admit, seeing that seeing that the work he's put into this shop. Um, and the bomber says it's like a work of art. He loves Barry stacking. I'm a nice stacker. Yeah. <laughs> and just stacker you know, or stalker? You see, in about an hour's time, you're gonna to have to do that all again for all the new people coming in. Oh yeah, but next time it'll probably be a lot better. Hi, the bomber five five five, and Steve Mansfield. Hi, Stephen. I was in the shop the other day and I couldn't walk out without buying something. Yeah, it's kind of one of those, you just can't help yourself. <laughs> I stood at the door and let until I bought something. Right, for those of you who are in the Antrim area, um, and maybe even a little bit further, because I would dare say this... Well, we're here to half four, so... We're here to half four, so make sure you call down. Hiya, Josh. Hi, John. John, even. I call him Josh all the time. Yeah, why do you do that? But we do have a giveaway. Um, happening in in store today so the first person that comes down into the store and says I vape with Antrim eSig and Vape Lounge NI will win a lovely Antrim eSig belt knot and a very nice bottle of Christmas edition candy cane this stuff is very hard to get apparently it's uh, a lot of people falling all over themselves to get a hold of that at the minute and if you like your minty flavours, you'll love that. And you also get two Nick shots as well with it. Okay. Yes, Craig, hashtag free ship. Hi, would, I have, would I have time Hi, to Simon. get Hi, over there, get the free you're stuff hosting, and get you're back? Not... <laughs> you're hosting, you're not allowed. Hi, Salford. So, um, Barry doesn't like my new smock. Vigneno. Vigneno. You don't like the Vigneno? Oh yeah, yeah, I don't like it. The bomber five five five. So you must know, like, you, you probably know who that is. I like the look of it. I, I, have, I have a used one, so I do like the look of them. Craig's jumping on boat. 
And never to fear. Great <laughs> start swimming. <laughs> never to fear as well. There will be another giveaway um, throughout the show at some stage today, so you don't know when it's going to happen. We're not actually going to tell anybody what's going to happen, so you'll have to stay on on live and stay on stream. Oh yeah. Suffer. And this Suffer. Is, this is what Andrew Isig had donated. Um, again, you get an Andrew Isig build mat. Build mat. And. And. Dun, 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 dun. It's coming up. It's coming up. Oh, no. There it is in all its glory. Just for wee Gary, some rainbow shit. So it's a, it's a yeah. rainbow mod that's been left out in the rain too long. Barry better not lock door on me. <laughs> There's vaping Pat, he loves candy cane. Um, so, as I say, that is a giveaway will be done online today. Oh, I hear a There's an phone. incoming. Yep, that's an incoming. Is that a Steve Dave? Yes, it is. Right, give me a sec to get you on screen. Hi. No promotions, Hi. Mr. Uh, Mr. Steve Dave. Hi. Uh, I want to have a nice week catch up. Concerned I haven't I haven't talked to you, so it's been like over a week now, isn't it? We haven't spoken. Oh no, no, not not really. No, I just I just came in for a wee chat. Yeah, cool. Yeah, Simon is a is a cool wee is a cool wee mod. Is my is my idea it's still awful? Yes, it is. Network conditions. Are, it's, it's not perfect, but I've seen it worse. <laughs> but it's it could be affecting with me as well because I'm on mobile. It's not too bad. Here. Afternoon, it's a wee Dave. Bit Hi, Dave. Oh, like it. Right. So, as I say, for, <laughs> and Village Vapor jumping on a plane because it's much quicker than a boat. <laughs> so, Craig, you're going to have to up your state, stacks there. But as I say, that other, the, the, geek, the Geek Vape giveaway will happen at some stage between now and half past four. So, there'll be no telling when it's going to happen. You may get a five minute warning before it happens. But the other one, the in store one, so it's the first person that gets into the store and goes on the camera and says, I. Yeah, I vape or um, I vape with Andrew Isig and Vape Lounge and I. Although it's, pre it's pretty words. cool, uh, uh, cruel to, su to subject these people to the wet koala bear. So yeah, what? Before they get the, the, the... No, 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 Darren, the wet koala bear is just for us bitches on a Friday night, okay? <laughs> That's private! Oh, leader of the, what's the NNJA? <laughs> Bombers on his way. <laughs> dare, we, dare we ask? Yeah. Dare, dare we ask what is the NNJA? Yeah. Yeah. It's the, the, the bomber five five. Bomber five 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 forward slash leader yeah. of NNJA. No, no idea. Well, that's one. <laughs> that's one we can ask him when he gets here. Yeah. Right, bro. What are you vaping on? Well, Pinky, the same thing I vape every day. Five point points, whoever. Sorry. <laughs> I was going to say five brownie points, whoever got that reference, but you spoiled it. Yeah. Anyway, I've got the Captain PD270 with the Goon 1 on top of it. I've got the Smock Disco Cube with the Troll V1. The Ice Stick 100 original with the Orchid V4 on top of that. I've got the Stingray Mech Mod with the Royal Hunter and the 4 9 with the Maple Shorty. So, just a few then? Just a few. It's just sitting. Oh, RX 2 thirds with the Troll V2. Oh, yeah, you can't forget that one. Yeah, you can't forget that one. Yeah, can't forget Old Faithful. <laughs> so. Well, for me, it's plain and simple. I've got one mod. One dripper, one bottle of juice. That's my lovely shiny gold G class with a good 1.5 and very nice custom drip type as made by our very own Bateman Brew. And in that, I have Vape Cocktails Pineapple Fruit Splash, which is very, very yummy. Simon, you may have already have an Antrim E Sig build mat, but do you have um, the candy cane? Candy cane, you like one. Mm.
So it's an easy way to do his work. And George McNally, I already have one. George, you may have one. Yeah, but you may have one, but you've always a chance to win another. Yeah, yeah one to have, wife. To have two. Yeah, and also, have you been in to see the new store? If not, why not? Have you been in to see us two? No, it's not an idea to come in to see us two. But <laughs> well, they might come and see me. They might not want to see you. you know. True. <laughs> I don't think so. You oh, don't have that nice top on at the moment. But Simon. Pineapple is a no-no. Simon, get out your bar. But Simon, <laughs> it's not that pineapple. You can't, I know you can't buy it in here. That's why it's in your pocket. So. Oh, why is Darren looking confused? I'm just checking chat here. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, Darren just looks like all the time. Good he damn Wi Fi mobile data from now. God damn Wi Fi mobile data from now on. Oops. Oh dear. <laughs> That's what I'm on. I tried hardwiring into um, Barry's. Wi Fi alone. It's not Wi Fi, even just as internet. That's I tried. Sorry excuse for Wi Fi, man. It's dead. And on my, on my EE box. I'm getting the same upload as I am download. So he's got two cans and a piece of string there? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Two cans and a piece of string, says Barry. Although, what is Barry dipping on right now? Yes, Barry, what are you dipping on right now? Yes, tell our viewers. I'm dipping on a bit of ghetto penguin. Lemon lime ice. Camera's up there. Oh, ghetto penguin, lemon and lime ice. That's all I've dipped for about three or four days now. I love it. Uh, what are you dipping it on? Anything and everything. This year's my old day trip. I would be the Valerian and the drag. But uh, when I'm on the shop, I'm on the AV in Kennedy. Genuine AV in Kennedy. You just had to get. You just had to get the genuine in. Do you see that? But he's, he's spamming the purple. Do you see that? Just just to wipe me up, like. I love it. It's gorgeous. Purple's my favorite color. In case you didn't know. In other words, oh, you can't hear me. Sure, you can't. No. I can't hear you now. Not at, at the minute. moment. Hang on, we'll try it beside it and see. I'll try it now. Oh, I can't hear it. Oh, network settings. Yeah, you'll have to. The question is, will I hear myself? And I can't hear anything right now. What can you hear now? Okay, that sounds better. Yep. You can hear us okay? Yep. That's better. I'm not getting any feedback. Oh, well, that's good. There we go. So Barry, Barry can actually hear us now as well. So Barry can hear, hear everything that's happening. Now, Barry, then, see if you want to sell Bunny anything, just make sure it's purple and set it right in front of her. <laughs> and uh, just leave it five minutes. Right, right. So, so, Darren, he's tormenting me with this. Sitting right in front of me and it's torture. <laughs> I think, we've, I think you've got a contender for the torture stakes, bitch. Oh, and then uh, the bombers went, lock the door until he gets there. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that gives you an unfair advantage and we can't be having that. Yes, yeah, Simon, I did polish it just for the day. And the mod as well. <laughs> <laughs> See that, what? 20 minutes in and we're in the gutter already? Mm. Here, it's your, it's your guttery mind is actually taking something out of it. So, you're a bad influence on me. Oh well. <laughs> I'm surprised that um Well, uh George, if you've got to go to work at four, get your wee backside down here now. He's holding out for the mod. Ah, uh, right. So he's staying at home then. The mod won't be out calling. Hi son, honey. Hi son. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Uh, which blonde potty? There's two of us here. <laughs> You're not blonde. The one without the beard. Hey, yeah. Darn. <laughs> you bitch! Where is no. he? Yeah, I just went. That's my spot. <laughs> Maggie, where is he? I know yeah, he's probably got the kids, but why is he not in chat? Yeah. So, we'll probably, when we get to about quarter past, quarter past three, ish, ish we'll do a wee interview with um, Barry, to have a, a chat with him, to find out where, where he's, 
what his journey has been to vaping and um, you know, how Andrew Neesig came about. He's got the truck. Oh my god, Jamie. I won't ask how you know that. I don't want to know how he knows that either. Hold on, is Jamie in the toilet with him? Oh, now that can make for an interesting video. The bomber's on his way, but he's forgot what he has to shoot. <laughs> is that your message? No, I'm shooting the light. Oh, is he? Hey, tell me what I shout again. Oh, oh should we? And it's, it's time. Get, get a pen and start writing it on your arm. Do you remember? Yeah. Should we ask chat? Should chat? Should we, should we tell him what I say? Yeah, what do you think, chat? Or should we give him the unfair advantage and remind him? Oh. We'll make it. We'll make it a bit more fun when he gets he gets in. Yeah, keep things interesting. Or text them the wrong thing to say. <laughs> oh, Craig's being nice. Craig thinks we should tell him. <laughs> yes, and he will have to say it to the camera, not just walk in the door, say it, grab his strap, and walk out again. He's gonna have to come over, and say it to the camera, and if you stick think around about... for a minute or two. And uh, Bomber, think about the shop you're coming to, and think about the show that's on at the moment, and what you know, what why you, what brought you to do doing this in the first place, Vapor. Does that help? Cryptic clues. Don't ask me. I'm vaping on yet. Right, my darling. What are you vaping on, sweetheart? Stuff. Stuff and things. Mod and atomizer and some liquidy stuff. Yeah. Ah, right. I've got the Og Vape V200. You can down the progress Og Vape. Has he just? He's like a child no. in a toy shop. With the Ken's eye on top. And in it, just for Simon. Just for Simon? Oh, yeah, more pineapple? Yeah, pineapple fruit splash. You don't get very much pineapple in it, by the way, Simon. It is more fruit splash. You just get a, the, the pineapple coming through on it. Think tropical fruit salad, and there you yeah. go. I've got my V God <coughs> Pro Tripper on top. What was that? That's the word. Lar. And in it, I have got some chemistry peachy gum gum. Oh, that is gorgeous. And I've also got my. I know. Hang on. My. <laughs> I'm going to one thing again, haven't I? <laughs> my G-Box. Well, it, it could be worse. You know, I could do something like this here. Warren! I've got my G-Box with the drop on top and in it, which can be purchased in the store. See, it has got some. Yes, there is. Yes, limited, there's limited stock of it in store, so it can be purchased in store. Titanic's um, Captain Custard Butterscotch Custard. Really yummy. If you like Angel's Delight and you like Butterscotch Angel's Delight, you'll love that. Yeah, you'll love that. Definitely. And what price is it today? What yeah. price is it? They're 20 pounds. 20 pounds. There you go. Next shots included. Next shots and next shots included for 20 pounds. Yeah, it's not 20 pounds for the e like with another two quid for the next shots. You know, they are included in the price. There you go, folks. Big bargain. Mm -hmm. So, oh, poor John still take crab after the surgery. Oh. Sorry to hear well, that. hopefully you're feeling better soon, John. It was only a slash. Dash, Simon. Didn't <laughs> say slash. He's <laughs> editing his video. It'll be on in a minute. Oh, Good job you corrected that, Simon, or else there would have been the giggle fits galore. I'm or sure maybe, probably or maybe, he anyway. maybe he splashed whenever he had a slash. Oh, good yeah. God. As long as you wipe this seat. Bye. Bye. He's out. <laughs> By the way, just one thing, I've been around a few shops and everything else, but look, look at these. <laughs> yeah, my killer nose. That's nice. Yeah, that could be coming home with me. <laughs> Not only has he got his branded um, sweatshirt on. Oh yeah, for all you beer lovers out there. And can you purchase those in the store? No, no. It comes with That's free. That's one off. It comes with free VG. <laughs> I'm in. Hi, Colin. Hi, Colin. 
And just to show you the standard that we're running down here in Antrim. Mm. Gail's using pesky plastic. What? See? And she hasn't burnt it? With fire? Yeah, from a volcano? Yeah. There. And we stop wrecking the store now. Uh, yeah, Colin, um, Daniel Casey pulled a sicky today because he just couldn't be arsed. Yeah. Uh, Gail, why? But I why? know, I know, but why? Oh, but... get ready, boys. What about girls? Yeah, yeah, bomber, female, hello. <laughs> She's not well. <laughs> So, is anybody in chat out there any questions? He needs a formal warning. Right, Colin, you can give him it. Um, anybody out there any questions they'd like to ask about the store or anything you want to know about the range of juices this the store has at the moment or any of the mods? Or anything else? Or any questions about it? Oh, she's using the wasp. Oh, she's wasp. using the wasp. Right. Wasp. 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 It's a wasp. It's a wasp. It's a wasp. It's a wasp. What is it, Barry? It's a wasp. It's a wasp. It's a wasp. It's an evil bee. Yeah. Leaves the poor thing alone. Yeah, you can say that. You ain't allergic to the wee buggers. Anybody else? Anybody out there? Well, we now know what Gail's, excuse me, vaping on the wasp. But what else? <sighs> I can't speak. Sorry, I call. Don't Same. talk whenever you've got vapor in your mouth. It doesn't know. end well. We all know Daniel doesn't like to leave the house collection only. <laughs> <laughs> nice one to you. <laughs> Love it. Hashtag collection only. Bee well, the is a bee on myth. Yeah, that's quite a hype book. It's an angry bee. See, we bumblebees are cool because they don't sting you, but a wasp will definitely turn its arse in your direction on purpose. What, wasp? A wasp. <laughs> oh, yep. Darren, I know this is. I know we're coming down to you you're not a shop. But would you like to tell tell us about your new venture? Oh, uh, yes. He doesn't. He is not prepared for this at all. So yeah, we're I just we're just completely throwing him under the bus here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. For those that, especially women that like lip balm, flavored lip balm, that's sort of don't show up properly. Is it? No, with the first flavor being Mr. H. Berg, which is basically a Heisenberg flavor. Lip balm. Heisenberg flavoured lip balm and I can say I used a sample of it before he completed the finished product and it is very very good I would highly recommend it and it does it's it's exactly yeah. like Heisenberg e liquid. Yeah, the is the that the bomber? Ah yeah, oh, here he comes! <laughs> what did he... Well, he drop? He dropped his wallet! He's <laughs> actually even got, he's actually even got the underneath thing sweatshirt on. Yeah, look at that, it's supposed to show off. And somebody's been very hungry on him. Alright. Yeah, do you not buy her a burger? I'll ask you, you left it. Aww. So he's come down to the right place. You're ready for this place. Come on. Can you I, remember? That's me, Sig. I love L.I. Vietnam. Did you like my Did you like my Come back in, try that again. Take two. Just stay calm. He's getting salt and heads in his shot here. I went different from the live bike. Fuck that. Uh, oh dear. So you want to tell us a story about this NN and JA? It's actually an online game for PS4. Ah. Yeah, he buggered it up, village paper. <laughs> <laughs> but I was saying, as well, he's like, you're going to mess this up. I said, no, I'm not going to mess this up. Well, you did. He 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 did. We're being right. respectful. You have to remember is that the shop is open today as well, Chatters, so. Is that my bottle? 
Yeah, my pocket. So, Darren, did you say the price? Uh, 15 mil tin is for five pounds. And how does that sort of fit in with normal lip balm? I wouldn't know. From what I can see, it's about average for this sort of size of tin. Craig, visit Bacon Brew, you know, got UK. Stick the link in, Brew. Say hi. No, say hi. Don't say hi. It's really live on, it's really live to YouTube. Just say hi. Just go hi. You don't have to appear on camera if you don't want to. Just shout out hi. You know, shout hi. Hi. There we go. And there's Bree's link as well. That's okay. The camera's not been over that direction. It's all right. And yes, girl, you can. Right. Here we go. Take two. Don't mess it up. No, what say it you? properly. Sure. Yes, there's a reason why we picked a certain phrase because if you don't get it right, you don't win the prize. <laughs> well, there's another shot there now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you don't get you're not going to get a free bottle. You said you just lost it, just didn't you? Um, yeah, so yeah. If you want a free look, at the, look at that big look at that big ball. Look at that. Look, 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 at that. look, look at that. Look. And you get your next shots from there. Look, your next shots as well. Yeah. I, I don't think I could do it. And the ball mat. And the ball mat. And the ball mat. Here you look at that menace and weave on that like that. <laughs> look at that. Look at it. Your pressure's on. Yeah, your pressure's on. Maybe it's up to the it's up to the shop owner because he's the 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 um, the judge of it all. Mm -hmm. The adjudicator. That's the word I'm looking for. Judge, jury, and executioner. Yeah, especially when you're not going to be Don't worry, we don't worry, we won't put you off whatsoever. Goodbye. Not at all. No, where are you going? Oh, his eyes just. Someone kept, tell her to smile. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't very happy when she walked in and walked out. Well, with that weather, it's understandable that people are miserable. Yes, it's passion. Staring intensely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go on. Go on. Go I on. see it. Amazing. Hi, love. The big blinds in. Okay. I think that was worth it. Well done. <laughs> Very good. Well done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Believe that's yours, sir. Look at that, now you've got juice. Yay! Crack it open, do we smell it? I've uh, never smelled it. How do you not? We've never tried it. No. The only, uh, the only sort of candy really cane one I've it, ever... It? This is on... yeah. yeah, I had a, a peppermint candy cane one from Hodges Homebrew a couple of years ago. It was really nice. Um, Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. Oh, yes. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, it smells like Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. Mm, nice. Very, very nice. Come on, we're waiting. <laughs> yeah, there's a delay, remember? Oh, I, keep, I keep forgetting there's a delay in, on the, the stream and chat. Yeah. Yes, so that's the um, in-store one. So don't forget, folks, that um, the prizes are brought today um, courtesy of Antrim E6 store. Shop. Yes, Antrim E6. Antrim E6. Um, kindly to need it, Brian. Thank you very much to Barry for the um, being donated. There is still going to be the online one, um, which will be coming up at some stage. Yep, between now and closing time. <laughs> between now and half By four. By closing time, I mean half past four. So yeah, for us. It's closing time for us. Yeah. By the end of the show. Yeah, closing time. You know, the time when you close up shop and bugger off to the pub. So I think it's maybe maybe it's time to ask. Now it's time to, uh, look, I see Barry's nerves are settling in here. Um, time to ask Barry a couple of questions. Barry, would you like to have a seat here? I'll, uh, no, I'll I'll well, I can just turn always, the camera around. Well, you don't need oh, to see okay. me. I can, okay, you can, can still that. hear me. <laughs> we need to turn the camera around to Barry. There he is. Hi. I'm here. So, Barry, 
How long have you been vaping for? I've been vaping now, I would say about five, maybe six years, on and off. Steady for about three or four years, but I did start about five or six years ago. So one of the long-term vapors then? Yeah, it's long enough, yeah. What sort of advice did you start off with? That's just what I was about to ask. That's how I actually get into selling e cigs my, my very, very first e cig I bought off an online site from America. Um, just a wee standard Ego Pen CE4 cartonizer. Um, I think it was like $25 at the time. And bought one, waited on a common from America. Used it, got off the fakes for about two or three days. And then the inevitable happen that always happens with them, you snap them in half in your pocket, mm -hmm. straight back onto the figs, and bought another one from America. The, the same thing happened to me two or three times, so I looked into wholesaling to, to buy more than just one for myself. I found out that I, I could buy them reasonably cheap if I buy them a hundred at a time. So I, I bought the hundred, and then that's how I first got into selling these things, just delivering them around the doors and stuff. Which is good. So then, um, where did the concept of Anthem Music, when did it start? Was it from the online or from the door to door no, sales? I always or? used to just do it, uh, more so as a, as a hobby as well as an, an extra income. But I worked full time and then uh, <clears throat> about a year or so ago, uh, I was potentially getting laid off from a full time job. So I opened up the shop, but ended up getting kept on at work anyway. So that's how the shop came about. And you're from, not from Antrim, or you're not living in Antrim at the moment? I don't live in Antrim, no. Um, I did live in Antrim, but I don't live in it at the moment. So why why Antrim then? Why did you choose Antrim for your, for your Because story? I live at one side of Antrim, and my work was at the other side, so I was back and forward through Antrim twice a day, every day. Plus, I did just to live here. And you've got loads and loads of different gist in here. Now, Colin has asked, um, Colin James asked a question there to the cast. So you're in your own cast as well. What is your favourite e-liquid? My favourite, I go through notions. Um, mine's, for a long, long while, it was uh, Dinner Lady Lemon Tart. And that was right up until the TPD, and then I just sickened myself <coughs> up. And, but now, anything ice, I, I love anything ice. Nothing in particular, like certain fruit flavours or whatever, but just anything with ice in it is my cup of tea. The colada sort of ones, or methyl? Or either. No, I don't like menthol. Like WS23, I see, I see effect, but not menthol. I, I don't like menthol. So we're going to have to get get our hands on um, some special colada mix from um, ads over Umbry because <laughs> he did oh, a, yeah. he did a thirty milligram. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that was colada, <laughs> Pure colada. I have uh, and. We have on that or some black ice challenge from your WS23 in a bottle. You can add to any flavour in the shop if you like icy ones. So there we go, folks. Look, he's got 10 ml ice shot. Oh, good lord. Only takes a few more to make a 60 ml bottle icy. Uh, no. <laughs> and what price is that? They're a uh, fibre a bottle. So a fibre a bottle will probably the last year for. We bought last year for about 6 or 7 60 ml bottles. Now, have you ever tried vaping that by itself on a mic? Blow the ears clean up Because that's what basically we were vaping and we did it at a vape mate. I could video or it didn't happen. That was painful. There is video. There is videos. There is video. Live video. It was live. It was live Stephen Hunter. September last year. September last year, Stephen page. It's live video. Mm -hmm. I couldn't breathe for a See, even now, I just, I just, or vaping something with Kalada in it. It just reminds you yeah. of it. I, I just done the drip test on it, and the inside of my mouth was in agony. It was so cold, and it was really, really painful. I was, oh, I was crying. And that was just me doing a drip test on it. There's no way I could have coped the vape on that. It was awful. Oh, but that, that, that was, it was hilarious, though, so because Stephen Hunger really almost killed himself that night doing it. And 20 minutes later, went and done it again. <laughs> okay. I just got another. I wanted, and just to make something really funny happen on camera, I'm going to get. I'm, I'm going to get Barry to taste a juice without knowing what the juice is, and he has to tell me what the juice is. Picking out flavour profiles, I'm ridiculously bad at. It. No, this is this is this should be actually quite good. Okay, mm -hmm. so give me your finger. Just give us your finger. Just hold your finger out. So hang on. This on camera, mm -hmm. so that is actually going on to his finger here, and he's going to taste it live on camera, and then tell us what it's like. 
Don't sniff it. Just, just. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> Someone get a bucket quick. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> leaves a grill. <laughs> 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 Hang on. <laughs> 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 oh, dude, I've tasted something similar to that. I've never tasted anything. I, the only I thing I've tasted, tasted similar. I've never as foul as that in my life. The only thing I've ever tasted similar to that juice is um, if I've been cleaning the kitchen with Jeff or something. You got a wee bit in your hand on. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I don't know what it was, but I don't think I want to know what it was. Uh, no, no you don't. Like no. no. It is supposed to be a lemon meringue tart. It's supposed, it's supposed to be a lemon meringue tart. Uh, never speaking of them. No. Never. no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to describe yeah. it. I did. Lemons are. Has VCR finally made an appearance? Yay! Miguel's making a time for my next video. Un you load it soon. Uploaded, I think that's meant to mean. Hi, Daniel! She let you out the basement then. <laughs> so, is anybody in chat? Now we've got Barry on, quest on, on question time. Anybody got any questions they'd like to ask Barry um, from the chat? Sensible questions. No, don't do sensible questions. No, no, we don't do sensible. So as you can see, Barry's sensible's boring. And George McNally doesn't believe. I, hang on, I've actually had to go back and do it. We we brought this through again. Um, the original fruit, as De, as Jeremy would say. The okay, original right. fruit. Yeah. yeah. Get it vape on the dripper. That WS32 wants They want they want you to vape it vape on the dripper. Yeah. I've not actually had ice juice yet, says Craig. I don't oh, believe you should do it again. George, I can tell you one thing from, from me from now. I will never, ever try vaping pure colada again. No, no, George, no. That it was just, scary. It was scary on my throat. Yeah, it is exceptionally painful. How about uh, colada with some of that pepper liquid? Oh, God. What, that chilli stuff that you took home from that vape mate a couple of years ago? Yep. That stuff would strip wallpaper, man. It'll burn the eyes out of us. Yeah, it did. It made us all cry. Yes, but Steven, the collateral would cool down as well. Sorry, what's Stephen said? Stephen's question was, what's the most money you've made in one day? No comment. There you go. Yeah. You've... Craig's question's a bit more sensible. What's the most expen expensive mod you're selling just now? The theorem DNA contact cycle would be the most expensive the mod in the shop. Yeah. The red and blue one there beside the mag. For those of you that aren't aware, that one. It's got like a snake skin on on it. I think most of them do have this sort of snake skin effect or leather effect. Does feel. It feels like a snake skin. That wears down that one. I use one myself, that wee snakey. Mm -hmm. Snakey feel it wears down after a while. <laughs> Mr. OCD polished it before he puts it back in the cupboard. <laughs> the fingerprints off us. Hi. I love that one. Yeah, the mag. That colour. I actually prefer the full red one rather than the black. That colour is gorgeous. The purple's, nice. the purple's gorgeous. I saw the purple whenever we were in here just before Christmas because I was very tempted to buy it. I Sorry, I folks, I just made sure I'm talking myself out of it because I was saving for this piece, day, so. Yeah. The I call is, call is not. Hey! Bless it, you! Okay. Um, is there anything. Here, here's another good question for you from Village Vapor. Is there anything about vaping you dislike or don't agree with? Very good question. Hiya, Philip. Hi, Philip. I would have to say the, the theory that most news articles and that cling on to about non smokers starting to vape. Mm -hmm. The I hate, I hate anybody coming in that doesn't smoke. Well, I, just when, when you say that, there is a guy I know in chat mm -hmm. who doesn't smoke, but he vapes. 
and the reason he vapes, he doesn't vape the neck here, he vapes zero neck, just but no to the CBD oil. Right. He vapes CBD oil. Well, that's CBD oil. a reason to vape. Yes. And he has got, he's got a lot of, he has got quite a few health issues. Yeah. And, but the vaping the CBD oil seems to be helping him. And um, I'm not going to mention who his name is, but I know he is in chat, and that's, yeah. that's why, why I can do it. Uh, Salford Vapor has come out with another question here. Uh, what is the best selling device in the shop at the moment, and why do you think it is so popular? It um, has always been the wee Endura T18. They sell more than anything else in the shop. The basic starter kit, they fly out, they're reliable, they're good. I think most vapors are all the starters basically. Yeah, I think that's what a lot of more of the last few years people have started to be able to put, I would say a good 80, 90 percent of people start on. Because yeah, the start of that lot, it used to be the wee and, Yeah, the egos and the, egos, the C E fours, yeah, which were right. to be honest pretty crap. Yeah, now um, you don't really four see years ago, now yeah. fantastic. Four years ago in, in February, just at the beginning of February, um was whenever I bought my first V site. That was a T no, no the Eagle. Eagle. And no harm to anybody. I got three days quit smoking from it, uh -huh. and that was it. Because it was then I'd forgot to charge my battery during the day, and I got to one night I was really down having a cigarette. Went to vape on it, the battery was dead. So yeah, you had to unscrew it and screw it into the battery. And the morning, and the I actually was... walked that night. I was pissed. I can remember it well because I had a I had a drink in the house, and it was pissing with rain. So I walked the twenty four hour garage to get cigarettes. Yeah. Well, my three-year um, anniversary uh, is tomorrow. My first kit was an Eagle Twist with uh, the CE4 on top, and I was a stubborn bugger. I tried an Eagle before with the CE4, and it didn't work for me. So tried it again then, um, and I was stubborn. I flat out refused to give up on it. And I, went, I went and bought the kit that morning, went home that day. Everything smoking-related was removed from the house, so it removed the temptation. Yeah. And I stuck at it, and then a couple of weeks later, I upgraded. I bought the K7 Camry lava tube kit yeah. with the, the pro tank on it, with the bigger tank. Pro tank. Uh -huh. Wasn't a bad wee device. In yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was good. So I moved, I moved from the Eagle to that, and then I went from that to the uh, Ice Tech 30 watt, and that's been me. I've never looked back since. This was my very first box mod. If you oh, the VTR. I always the wanted, brick. I always wanted one of those, but not for the mod, for the big box that it came in. I mean, suitcase. So yeah. It's, it's, oh, that is mental. It's an antique now. Yeah, they those bit, are rarer than, than hen, yeah, they're rarer than hands type. People are falling all over themselves trying to get the hold of those just for the novelty value of them. Wasn't it only eighteen mil tanks you could put into it as well? Oh, well, there's the extension. You can put anything yeah, you, on the you top. Yeah, you've got the little the uh, extension bar off. beauty ring, so you could have the, the smaller one, or you could take that off and put. You can take you that know. off, and the tank yeah. actually sat down inside it. Yeah. Well, like Any liquid at all, depending on what tank you've got in it. But yeah, those are. Yeah, people are falling all over themselves now trying to get a hold of these because they're so rare. And there's the under V sig mats as well, folks. That's you can see on the table. Nice and bright the colour. Okay, we have another we have a, a shop related question here um, from George McNally. Do you have the small Prince stick in stock and how much? We don't have the Prince's in just yet, just the original V8, but not the Prince's. To be honest, I'm not sure whether I will get the Prince's in. You have the V8s here? Oh, we have the original V8s, yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll Craig is asking. Craig is asking, what are your business hours, and do you get a day off? Me personally, yes, I do get days off, but the shops open seven days a week. There you go. Look at, Look at that. The purple's not really coming up on camera. Yeah, it's looking really blue on the camera, yeah, but, but if you've is. seen it in the flash, it is a really gorgeous, gorgeous purple. Our business hours are half nine to half five, seven days a week, but we're open to eight on a Thursday. And then we don't open to half one on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, Craig's also asking, do you find you get more elderly people these days now that we know a bit more about the health benefits of vaping coming in to get help quitting smoking? That's, that's very, very true. Um, 
when we first opened, there wouldn't have been an awful, awful lot of elderly ones, but uh, nice <clears throat> what I find is when there's a, a good news article that goes out like on TV or over social media or in the paper or anything, after that news article for the next week or so, you would get a lot more elderly ones in that are a bit more pacified about this, how safe the open is, so you would find more would come in. If there was any bad news in the would you find that it would actually drop off? What was that, sorry? If there was any bad, bad news in the press, do you find that the customers, number of customers that would actually drop off? Or would stay about the same? Not necessarily. Well, anytime you get a bad news report goes out and about, um, the next day or two you would get a lot of questions in the shop with people asking you about the news article and would you tell them where it came from or whether it was a genuine news article or whether it was scare tactics. Um, you can normally pacify a lot of people whenever they find out the truth behind whoever ever released the news article. Uh, Call My Valley Vapors is asking, have you had any problems with the last batch of T18E? T18Es? I haven't had issues with them in a long, long, long while. No, they're very, very, very popular. Uh, no, very, very seldom I would get issues with the T18E. Conway is one of these um, one of these strange ones. He's not a vapor, mm -hmm. but he runs, he runs a uh, very successful um, vape shop, distro type thing over yeah. in North Wales. Right. No, I haven't had that. Uh, although I buy mine in bulk, so I don't buy them often, like I buy, buy in bulk once every now and again, so I maybe haven't had Have you had any customers batch. bring any back with complaints or anything like that though? No, 90% uh, of the people that come back with e 18s is, is not fitting the coils right, not knowing how to put the coil in properly. You show them, then they go home and they forget, don't put the coil in right, but other than that, don't get me wrong, you, you would get one every so often where the, the battery's gone on it, but uh, in general, no, they're, I'm very, very happy with them. Maggie has, Maggie Brady, I have to rasp the one. But seen the prints and thinking of changing again. Oh, that's the V8 stick she's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Simon Dearden wants to know: Has anybody used the new Asmodus? And if so, what's it like? I do believe that's the one you have to wave at. Wave at the hand, yeah. The, the motion detection yeah, the one, on the, it. The one is, that you set like an idiot. Is, uh, right Just by Bonnie's away finding it, and there's in the, as you can see over there. There you go. I have to say it's a lot nicer in the flash than uh, the thing I like the best about it is this, this wee light up the side when you fire it, it powers up like the wee light goes from the bottom to the top as you're firing it, nice. it loads as you're firing it, but the motion detection is, is just a gimmick. Yeah, um, uh, Bateman with Vic got sent one for review and he was out for a night out at the pub and uh, he said he felt like an idiot sitting there waving <laughs> at it and it wasn't working. These are not the mods you're looking for. <laughs> we have another question there. Um, Village Vapor has come up with, is there anything you refuse to stock? Always thinking. There's steam connectors here. Village, you've actually got them. You've got them. Don't get me wrong. There's some, some samples I get sent where you don't like the samples and I just wouldn't stop them but when you say you refuse to stop there's nothing really that I would refuse if it's good I'll take it on if, if I personally don't like it but I know it'll sell I still take it on but I don't think there's anything really that I would refuse to stop. I suppose it doesn't really make good business sense to refuse stock because taste is subjective so what you might not like someone else will. No, I, I can't just you sell know. what I like if I sold what I would like I would have very minimal customers you have to yeah. you have to, stop, you have to but, be able to cater for everybody yeah. I suppose. Maggie's use cases and scrapey mod. And um, Craig, smock people give smock a bad name, but you have to remember that they're probably one of the biggest selling outside of the T18 starter kits. Smock probably sell the most mods of any manufacturer. Yes, they bring out six million new mods every single week. Smock does get a lot of bad press, but in general, I've whether I've been fairly lucky with them or, or not, but smock's a, a very, very, very good seller for us. I, I, I think the biggest problem with smock is actually their coils rather than the devices themselves. Totally, yeah. totally agree. Totally agree. Totally agree, Brew, that it's the coils let smock yeah. down big style because of the because of the popularity and how many tanks that they've actually sold. Yeah. You know, they, it, apparently, every single smock product comes with a tank. Yeah. 
the, the TFE, the Cloud Beast, the original Cloud Beast, was fantastic. And still is. It's still one is of my fantastic. favorite stock, mm -hmm. coil, stock coil tanks. It's just I a thought, shame I, the coils don't the, last long the enough. Coils for the TFE 8 I thought were good, and they still sell very, very well. For me, some of my suppliers are actually dropping them because sales have gone down on them, but the, the TFE 8 are still a big, big seller for me, coils wise. Craig, it didn't sound cheeky, mate. Craig's but it didn't mean that sound cheeky, no offence. There's no offence taken on it, Craig. No, no, That's no, the whole no, thing. No. The, the whole thing. Everybody's it's taste is be subjective. Yeah, of course. But you do get. There is always people on Facebook groups. Um, that's the thing about a complaint. If somebody's got a complaint about something, you will see ten times that yeah. that complaint going around the world. It will, it will spread like wildfire. But you don't get you don't get as many people with something's good. Hence why you know a lot of reviewers out there tend to sort of go everything. Oh, everything's absolutely fantastic. Everything's fantastic. Everything's fantastic. And they may not go places. It's only to, if someone comes up with something honest. controversial. You know, if we think back to like likes of Dave Levick, whenever he was a, a smaller reviewer, he had a he had a big massive fallout with the I at that know. time was a big manufacturer. It's still are quite big. Yeah. But he had a massive fallout, and that travelled so fast. The word of that controversy does travel. Gets noticed, yeah. yeah. It does. Plus, it gets noticed more than you. You go on and put a good review on someone's page, people aren't going to share it. You go on and put a bad review on people's page, and a lot of people see it. Because mm -hmm. from even from my own, and I was a, a selfless, selfless plug. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. But myself on the written reviews, um, when I look back, and I still, I still be doing written reviews and everything else. But when I look back, the one that had the most views was the one that caused the most controversy. Yeah. And it still to this day has got the most views on it. It's the same as in news articles about vaping. Mm -hmm. Scare tactics gets a lot of publicity. All the wee healthy ones and about benefits of them don't and get just that's as much one of the publicity. reasons why people keep coming out with new scaremonger and tactics because they know it will get spammed and it will get a shared. Good, and a good news go report viral. that comes out pro vaping will get shared by vapors. A bad news report that comes out against vaping will get shared, get shared by, everybody. by everybody. Yeah, and I think it's probably the big big farmers and the big um, tobacco companies that start most of these anti vaping nice. crap. Of course it is. People we all know that. People in the door yet. Yeah. Right. You know, people that realise they're about to lose out in a shit ton of money if the if the open takes off. Sulfur's come out with a very good question. And I'm going to take a really good interest in the answer in this one. <laughs> no timeouts in this one. Okay. So sul our sulfur is put. If someone comes into the shop to purchase a mech, how do you go about finding out they can use it safely? For a start. We don't sell mechs, so I have no issues that way. Did just to sell them at the start, and then I was I've always had that doubt in my head whether somebody would buy one or whether if I wasn't working, if somebody bought one that wasn't 100% on it. So I don't really stock mechs. If they did, if I did, and they come in like by talking to them, chatting to them, you'll you'll pick up whether they know what they're talking about or whether they're winging it and wanting to buy one just for the cloud videos, but you'll a few minutes talking with someone you'll generally pick up an idea of how clued in they are. I have to admit I did walk into a shop as a pretend new vapor mm -hmm. in the shop without any questions could have sold me a mech. Mm -hmm. That's what scares me. That, that's, that's scary. I have to admit I've done that a couple of times as well. Like I say I've been at this it'll be three years tomorrow mm -hmm. and I have gone into a couple of shops and pretended like I knew nothing. And some of them have tried steering me towards the mechs and the rebuildables, and others are trying to get me to walk out with uh, the likes of the theory on at 125 pound with a 40 pound dripper on just top of it. Yeah, just trying to just trying to place my back pocket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're interested in me actually wanting to quit smoking. They're just thinking, ha, money racket. Okay. So. Next question is from Jamie Ryan. What is your best selling range? Best selling range. I'm guessing that's uh, e-liquid you're talking about, Jamie. I, w I would imagine so. Yeah. Best selling range for a long, long, long time. For uh, behind you. Pardon? For behind you. I thought, well, for standard mouth to lung vampire vape, but you, everyone knows it, everybody's heard of it. It's a good seller in any shop. Mm -hmm. But uh, premium IBG range, I would say drip sauce will be one of our best selling ranges. Mm -hmm. If I can. 
I have to say, I've tried, I haven't tried all of the drip sauce range, I have, but the ones that I have tried so far, I really do enjoy. They're very, very nice juices. Just stop there. The Australians one, I absolutely love. Uh, custard cream yeah. is to die for, and the rhubarb and custard one is absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah. <laughs> and also, just while we're on that board, um, for anyone that is in the Under Murray and listening in, on that board, there is normally a special offer every week. Every week, it gets changed for something. Every else. week, they put a new special offer up there. So, if you come into the shops um, and have a look at the board, and you'll see a new special offer up there. Uh, Stephen Mansfield has asked, um, well, he has said here, my wife has an Endura T22 and would like to know if it can be repaired because the top bit where the tank sits on the top has started to come away from the main part. In other words, it's five cans falling out. Can it be repaired or is it just better to buy a new one? Possibly, yes, it could be repaired, but for all the value of them, it's maybe better just getting an upgrade. Mm. Well, especially on the safety side of things, because if you're trying to push it down, you might damage the actual battery itself. Yeah. yeah. So, Sulphur's replied. The way the reason I keep reading these out is because um, Barry can't the, lap, the laptop screen is not very bad <coughs> for any customers that come in. So, um, great answer. I asked, asked as a new va- I asked as a new vapor, asked me where he could get a Meg. So after asking him some question, he changed his mind and purchased a regulated mod. That's absolutely fantastic. So, you know, as a, you know, as a vapor yourself, it is sort of down to um, us promoting safety mm-hmm. along yeah. the way. Because I, I use, you know, I, I went to my Christmas party um, at work and I had the V-God with me. And there was a, a new vapor who was asking me about it and everything else. And I was doing my best to put them off. Steve Mansfield says he'll pop in tomorrow to get a new one. I'd see you tomorrow, Steve. I'm pointing at the phone. Just pointing at the phone. Yeah, point at the camera. <laughs> We've got customers coming in, so I'll the camera right now. Again, uh, right. Can I get the, what's that called here? Clouds and Carambay Jelly Baby one if you've got it. Which one? Jelly Baby. Oh, um, Steve, is this your local shop in here? Is it got the Iron Brew one? Yeah. And that was the Yeah, The Iron Brew one was out. Let's see it with sugar levels in it instead of <laughs> the, the Iron Brew. <laughs> not, not the diet one. Not the diet Iron Brew, it's horrible. Yeah. Is it good or not? It's good, yeah. Say hi. You're on YouTube. Say hi. Hi. Give them a wave. There you go. <laughs> uh, another one I was going to try was the candy. Candy. Candy juice. Hi. For the regular nostrils. Yeah. Yeah. Like strawberry and. Black Daniel will come back to that one, mate. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get come back, back to we'll that We'll come back to that one, Daniel. <laughs> you cheeky boy. <laughs> oh, uh, did you watch Jay Hayes' show? Yes. Did you see the new uh, Sense Arrow that Grim Green had? <laughs> For those that don't know, it's got a wee light on the top of it, so whenever you breathe out the vapour and you press the top button, it actually yeah, lights up the vapour. Yeah. Pulls off your neck and you go and it's just that wee bit screws off. Okay. Jazzy yeah. bottles. That's a cool little bottle. Jazzy Sorry, bottles. Show that off. Yeah, show that off to the camera. That is lovely. Mm-hmm. Like a little NOS type effect. Yeah, that is well nice. Mm-hmm. Can't find it. <laughs> there you go. I do like that. That is a cool little bottle. Close them in the bottles. We'll not zoom in. We'll zoom out again. <laughs> the payments being made. Is that is that why? Just why? Yeah. Eh? Sorry, but I just don't follow that one. Oh, he 
Oh, hello. Does that make me too old then as well, Daniel? Yeah, I think I'm back to Daniel's question. Yes. Yeah. What's the most popular selling stock coil tank in RDA at the moment? Uh, we'll get back to you on that one. Right? He's busy with customers at the moment. Is it is a fully functioning live shop? <laughs> Thank you. Bye. 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 Right, Daniel has got Daniel has got a statement rather than a question for you. Just Daniel Pearson. Yes, it is. Yes, he's off the shitter and back in the basement. Daniel he's saying, in here to troll you. He says, Barry, are you not too old for a snapback? <laughs> can you block anybody from this now? No, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately we can't block him. Well, I, can. I, can. I can. Yeah, you can. No, yeah, don't do it. No, yeah, no, 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 I don't no, 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 he can still hear you. Yeah, he can still hear you. He just can't, can't type. type. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Craig's got another question for you. Craig is a mouth to long um, yeah. paper. Mostly. What's the most popular selling stock coil tank and RDA at the moment? Stock coil tank for, for sub omen? For mouth to long? Probably both. He's more of a mouth to longer. Mouth to long, by far. Not all this time. No, no, it's no. Right to long still our T18s. Hiya, Tony. It's not still the T18 tank that would be our best seller one. Hi, Tony. 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 Hi, Daniel can't, can't, answer, Daniel can't answer back at the moment. Daniel's on the naughty stair. <laughs> Oh dear. Tony, how are you feeling, mate? Are you feeling any better? Um, I know Pete missed you last night, and he had to make do with not even second best or third best or fourth best or fifth best. But he put up with me. And um, also, Sulfur stepped in as well. Um, thank you. Thank, thanks for answering all my questions, Barry. Much appreciated. That's from You're Craig. Right. From Craig. Craig is a avid. He comes into the Vape Lounge and also goes into the UKN as well a lot. He's over in Scot Bonnie, Scotland, or he probably would come in. You know, we sort of think about the audience here. This is all this whole thing started out being for towards Northern Ireland. Vapors and everything else, but we have got Scotland represented, we've got England represented, we've got Wales we have, represented, yeah, we've got Viewers in America as well. We've American viewers. Global. Yes, and we've we also have. got um, And we've only been going for two weeks. So in Ireland. Three weeks. Oh, week sorry, three. week three. Yeah, not sorry. Bad. I do apologize. Yeah. It's only going to go one way. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping to build and build and build. So there is, because there is a fantastic community out there, which is the NI Vape community. Yeah. Facebook there's, page yeah, is absolutely fantastic. The Northern Ireland vape scene really, it, there's a big vape scene out there, but it doesn't get the publicity that it deserves, in my yeah. opinion. So that's another reason why we wanted to do this and, you know, sort of highlight the the vapors and the vaping scene in Northern Ireland, to, yeah. you know, to put it on the map, basically. Salford, um, I feel sorry for you, mate. Why? You caught her Irish. Oh, and don't forget, look, is, Corn is Cornwall not in England? Patsy. Patsy. Patsy, not Patsy, Patsy. VP. Who's going to call you VP? Could be worse, it could be called Vupu. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is probably one of the worst names of a company I know, ever. I, mean, I bet he was sat in the toilet when he thought of that it one. It was probably Daniel Casey. <laughs> Do you think yeah. poo too? Never, never, never mind having a, never mind having a voo poo, but having a voo poo drag. Oh God! Not have you asked the Cornish? <laughs> yeah, Cornwall's a country in its own right, apparently. What time is it now? It's now, it's now uh, twenty-four, quarter to four. Twenty-four. 24. 24. So lucky people in chat. So so lucky people in chat. You have a chance now of winning a um, gate vape. What's, what's that? What's that from the back again? Blade. Yeah, gate vape blade. Oh, God, it's right in front of me. How can you not see it? I know. 
Um, so you have a chance of winning a Geek Vape Blade and an Antrim e-cig mat. Oh, and Daniel, Mr. Casey, I know you can't answer it because you're still on your time out. Um, I forgot to give you that mat. It's still lying in the back of my car. Okay. Yeah. So, there is. We have a chance of winning an Antrim e-cig and the Geek Vape Blade. Hang on. Yeah. Let's zoom in a bit on it. Zoom in a little bit on it. So, if you would like to win this, uh, I'm 100% Irish, don't feel sorry for me. <laughs> Maggie. Nice one, Maggie. I do feel sorry for you. She's the left down now. She's the left exactly. down <laughs> <laughs> So, if you would like a chance to win this, let me see some hell yes in chat mm -hmm. to start with. And then we'll tell you how you can how you can go about winning it. Yeah. And you don't have to come to the store to pick it up. No, this will be an online thingy. So anyone that's in chat right now is eligible to win it, except for Darren because he's a host. Or anybody with a spanner. So we've got Maggie Brady, we've got George McNally, Craig, David Lecky, David Lecky, Pat, Pat, Simon? Simon, if you want to win it, it has to be a hell yeah, There's not a big nice. Big it's jam, hell yeah. yeah. Tony Z sig stuff, hell, hell yeah. John Dunn, hell yeah. Now we're getting all the now we're getting all the lurkers coming out of the out of the woodwork, getting them yep. in chat. Yep. Colin's uh, a hell, hell yes. yes. Daniel, hell yeah, I can win. No, you can't, you've got Hiya, Daniel, <laughs> welcome back. Quick time him out again. Jamie Ryan. <laughs> Simon. He he'll yeah. He will yeah. Zan, <laughs> see what Zan's done. Yeah. Zan is another account. Yeah. Yeah, Zan. Yes. Zan, uh, Zan is the spanner. Right, hashtag Tracia. So. so, we have got. The limit, the guesses, or what way do we do it? No. It's just the first up on our screen. So, folks. I've read, got, I've read down a number. Hang on. I've written down a number on this wee bit of paper between one and a hundred. The first person to guess the number. Don't be going mad. Not yet. Whole pile down, but whenever we say go, the first person to guess the number wins the under me build mat and the geek tape blade. I'll give the number over to one of these two so as you know we're not cheating. It's written down there already. You can't guess yet, Maggie and Gilly Box. Oh, look at them. And RM Courier no, Glasgow. No. No. Okay, stop. Stop stop, 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 stop. Until we say go. You don't guess yet. Just bide your time. Just. <laughs> Simon's got an earlier right this time. Calm down. Yeah, calm down, kiddie. No, no, stop with the guessing. We're not going to start it until everybody really no, stops guessing. No, we're not. No, we're not going to start it yet. If anybody gets the right number, because you're all too impatient. Yep. Yeah. You're all too impatient. You just need to stop. And um, we can see what sort of minds that Maggie Brady and Gilly Bob have. And the yeah. first number out of their head was 69. Fuck it, 68, no, you won't. <laughs> so, great minds, Maggie. Yeah. <laughs> Dirty minds, more like it. You've been on the bitches too long, Gilly Bob. Yep. You say, I can tell you I'm a bad influence. Right, like, so. no, it's Darren's fault. It's usually his fault. We just blame him anyway. Yeah. So, oh, we still, now, we still. now that the chat has calmed down, have you got your fingers ready, people? Thinking caps I on? I want to see those fingers. Okay. Yeah, did you not watch that question with Vic and Bob Mortimer? No. No? No. It's all Bruce's fault. Didn't, you didn't watch Shooting Stars? No. My God, you let a sheltered life. I watched it once and went, nah. So you missed okay. out all the are we ka 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 Four. Three. Two. Go. Go. Here we go. Let the fun commence. Get, wait, wait for the little delay now. Yeah. No tense music. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> my mum's my mom's messaging the numbers. Of <laughs> <laughs> 69, no, 54, 39, 1, 35, 80. 52, 13, 89, 3, 43, 22, 34. Stop reading the numbers out, it's just getting annoying. Okay. <laughs> We've had a couple of people close so far. Yeah. 
You have to come in on. It has to be in on YouTube channel. to have guests for it to be eligible. And it is the first one that's going to be on our screen. No, it's Steve, Dave, it's not 180. <laughs> Oh, stop, winner, stop, winner, stop, stop, winner, stop. winner, 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 chicken dinner. Winner, winner, winner. I'll keep, this in, I'll keep this in screen and I'll bring the camera down to it. Mr. Simon Dearden. He wins everything. He does and win every just fucking prove, thing. Just to prove, just to prove that that was the number. There There's it is. There's the number on there. And then on screen. <laughs> There you go. Congratulations, Simon. Congratulations, Simon. You are now the, the proud owner of um, Picasso's the second, illegitimate child. And the second under me, Sig Bulmat. And your second under me, Sig Bulmat. There you go, Simon. Yay! It's just all yours. What do you have with 27 floor again, Simon? You've just won it, man. <laughs> well, he was getting in with 99 as well. He had 51 in there. He had 45. Simon's right, actually so fighting the just, fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Simon's still guessing. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Dave. Congratulations. And a big, massive thank you to, to Barry from Andrew Isig for um, donating the prizes. And I'd like to say a big thumbs up, everybody, to, to Barry for that. And don't forget, it's Antrim's premier Isig store. Oh, it is. <laughs> Missed that at a phone call. Oh, Salford. What number would you have guessed anyway, Salford? It's all for Mister. There's Maggie's give you a big thumbs up. Yay! I got to stop letting me send. She's the master of the two kisses. Oh no, no, it was Maggie. Ma Maggie Brady. Brady. Oh. Give you the thumbs up. It's, uh, Jamie Ryan's went. Well, well done, done Baza. Face for radio. <laughs> big, hey, uh, big guns. Hey, big guns. Hey, our hey, big guns. Our favorite American. Colin again, give you a big thumbs up. Yeah, Can't big, believe it. Big Thanks, Barry. Big actually given one of these. Uh, yeah. Who's, who's Big Guns? Big Guns is uh, an he's, American. He's our American brother. He's an American brother, and he is an absolute giggle that you get him on camera. Yeah, he is cool. He runs a mobile, like sorry, a cellular phone shop in, in America. A cellular phone? A cellular phone shop in America. I'll, I will sell your phone for you. <laughs> Um, so, but he is, he, he, yeah, he's cool. it's early hours morning now for him, it's the weeks. Well, he's about five hours behind. Yeah, he's five so. hours behind us, so. So about 10 o'clock then? What's Casey at, at some way he's doing? Yeah, he has gone kind of quiet, hasn't he, Jimmy? He has, he's not timed out. No. Well, he was, but he came he's back. He's huffing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he is huffing. Is he even on? No. He is. You got it. <laughs> He's calling me. <laughs> He's moving on his phone. Hit the like button. Yes, people, don't forget to, if you're enjoying today's show, give the give the, the like. Um, yeah, give us a thumbs up. All thumbs ups are appreciated. Just posted his, oh, he's just posted his new video. He must be away from the computer at the moment. No, he's probably just not answering it to you. He's not. He's not answering me. I did try to call him. Or now that he's posted the video, I'd be striking back down to the basement again. Yeah, Maggie, have you put him back in the basement again? Yeah, she's folded him up and put him back in the box. Send him back and get a refund. I I got drunk last night. I would have been here sooner. Oh, BG's got a hangover. Everybody shout at BG because he's got a hangover. <laughs> John Dunn, here we go. Just started vaping day 13 day ago to stop the fags. I have a small alien, so far so good. I would like to know any nice six milligram Aegis as you could recommend. John, what sort of flavor profile do you like? Because it's it's juices, juice flavors are really, really subjective. And what sort of tank have you got on top of your smog? What have you got on top of your smog, alien? So you know that's it comes down to it. 
Um, probably the best thing you can do is you know pop yourself into a bricks and mortar store, and you know they'll let sample you and, and sample a few, a few, um, and they'll also be able to sort of talk you through what they've got and through different ranges. Um, it's one of the reasons why the Vape Wine GNI has also started is to try and help promote the the, the shops because a lot of people are buying stuff online, but you could end up buying stuff online like the juice that um, Barry tasted earlier. And you get you spend your good hard earned cash on that, and then come back and go, oh my god, that's horrible. It's a bit baby, isn't it? Leave a uh, leave a door open for a minute yeah, or two. Let, it out. Let a bit of it out. Leave it open for a second. Well, do me a favour. Pull these over a bit. They're too strong for me. I have to hold the bag up. Ah, Did you change it? Yeah, what's that? The blue top. Blue top. Check them out. You can plug it down to the 12 milligram. Or that's a blue top. I've had to see so you tried one of them for it. Well, I haven't used it. You know, Darren, you can't have a conversation with people. Yeah, you, know. you can't speak to them and just don't sit there and cough. <laughs> so, so, is, there any, is there anything new that people have seen that they might want that's coming out after the Chinese New Year? <laughs> yeah, we can't, you can't smell any. There's no smell on it. It's just a. Yeah. Just a or if that, if, that was, if that was cigarette smoke, oh, right, then you'd be going. Um, the tank is a V8 baby with a mod to make to make it three and a half mil and flavor coffee types ones at the minute. Um, there's plenty of good if you like coffees. There's, there's plenty, plenty of good, good plenty of good coffees. Barry just the way coffee. to get Barry just the way to get there some nice coffee. Um, congrats on quitting, John. Like Roy said, just better try some of the shop. At least you get an idea of your table palette. Yeah. Yeah. Always. Where I'm Where are you know. from, John? So, oh, I've heard of this one. <gasps> salted Salted caramel. Okay. So there's the Bristol Company. Um, salted caramel. That's one the coffee one. Another one that we have here. This is an eighty twenty, so it would be a bit. It should it be, be fine one. for the baby. Yeah, it's a bit. Uh, could be a bit thick for stock coils though. Eighty twenty is cafe latte. Who says that one anyway? Yeah. Uh, And the third one we have here. Again, caramel coffee. So yeah, John, if you're in Antrim, mate, come down and see Barry. Um, there's those three in here at the minute, which is all three co good, good good coffee vapes. Um, so pop down and see him. He's just—if you don't know where he is—he's just opposite the Danske Bank. 